Hammer Time! What's up everyone and welcome back to another Hammer Time video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Milwaukee 2733 21 7 and a quarter inch sliding compound miter saw. So before we get started, let's take a look at some of the key features. Alright, so it is a sliding compound miter saw, so it slides on two rail, ball bearing rails uh, which lock at any position and it is a miter saw so it miters up to 48 right and left it is compound which means it bevels so it bevels 48 right and left and it has a for blade changes it has a nice spindle lock so it's very easy when you are doing blade changes every there are reverse threads so when you to loosen the blade you must turn it right instead of left just remember that when you're changing blades otherwise it will be a long day trying to get that blade off and it has two different sized vacuum ports so you can you can either install a small or a large vacuum to this and I find that that works very well inside and out so it's a really well designed vacuum port and it also has a dust bag if that's what you prefer to use and that those seem to all work fine as well this has a seven and a quarter inch blade. This comes with a carbide 40 tooth fine finish blade from Milwaukee. And right out of the box, that blade is great and it lasts a pretty long time. So you won't be needing blades, but this saw, when, when you get blades, you'll need to make sure it has a 5 8 arbor on it. Just keep that in mind. It has a shadow line indicator on it when you press the LED light and it has a safety switch so you slide over the switch and then you depress the trigger to turn it on and that's how you turn it on so it also has sliding fences for beveling and mitering so you do not hit the fences when you uh, miter or bevel so those slide out of the way and that's nice it also has a hold down clamp a little more on that later in the video and it's portable. This is sometimes referred to as a trim saw, mainly used for trim. So it's not not your average saw that you're gonna see. It's only got a seven and a quarter inch blade. You can't take anything bigger than that. But a seven and a quarter inch saw is lightweight. It goes about anywhere. This is only this only weighs 28 pounds, being the lightest miter saw in its class. All right. Let's get started with the review. So the first test we're going to be doing is seeing how many 2x4s this saw can cut per charge. So while I'm cutting, let's talk a little about the hold down clamp I mentioned earlier. So the hold down clamp on here, it it clamps down the piece, but the threads are too small to actually it, for it to be useful. It does have a little quick release kind of mechanism on it, but the threads are still too small, I think. It's a little bit annoying to have the threads that small on it, so uh, I do recommend less threads on it. There's way too many threads on it, so less threads and that hold down clamp is great, but that's one thing you would want to change if I was making that saw or something along those lines. So that is 340 cuts now. Alright, now we're going to bevel through a pressure treated 2x6. Alright, so this saw definitely exceeded over a lot of other saws, I, I would think, especially at it only being 28 pounds. That's a nice improvement and it packs away everything. It's That's just real nice. And being able to make 340 cuts per charge, that is just, that's amazing. That's with a 2x4. On the box, it says it can make 600 cuts per charge, up to 600 cuts per charge. I don't know what that test was performed with cutting, like what it was cutting, but with a 2x4 it can make up to 340 cuts. And it seemed to work just fine on that. It cut really well, cut really smooth and clean. And 48 degrees right and left 
mitering and beveling is great. You need to cut a larger angle up to 60 degrees or something higher. You can cut a some angle on it and then use it to put your butt your piece up against it and then you can cut a larger angle if necessary, but most people aren't going to need to do that. All right, so I really am impressed with this saw. I really like it. It has a crosscut capacity of a 2x8 and that's that's pretty good, I'd say. It's that's a pretty large cut and that's with it sliding and it just works great. This this saw is really awesome. And big thanks to Milwaukee for partnering with Hammer Time Woodworks and sending this saw for review. Big thank you guys. That really helped. Make and also while you're at it Make sure you go check out Milwaukee. They have a large, large selection of tools. M12, M18, those selections are huge and they're always coming out with new great products. So make sure you guys go check them out and thanks to Milwaukee for sending this saw for review. All right, so I think that that's it for this video. I highly recommend this saw. It retails at the moment with a battery and a charger for 500 bucks and it comes with a 5 amp battery so I think that's a big plus that's, that's a plus in my book so alright thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video